bro, we're currently in South Australia and it's a fucking stinker of a day. 40 degrees Celsius. That's right, it's 40 degrees. Our car doesn't have air conditioning, so we've designed a car that can drive while full of water. To cool us down, of course. This is a world's first. Will we pull it off? Will we not find out here tonight? This is the beast. Caleb designed the car, so if it all falls to shit, let's blame him. <laughs> all right, pulled everything out of the car. Everything? Yeah, absolutely I everything. I see a chair there. Oh, well, we had to pull it all out first. <laughs> I've run wiring up through here, so you've got your indicators still work. If you want to drive in the dark, all your dash lights will work. Oh, really? So this all works? Yeah. So the whole car runs from the outside. The best part about this car, to start the beast, all you do is... It's already dead. Let's try this again. <laughs> we don't know, like, with the police, what is the worst thing that could happen. We just get arrested, right? What are the chances of this succeeding today? <laughs> we Shut up, Caleb. <laughs> okay, so there's two things that could go wrong. One, we could get busted by the police. Two, the car could break down and crash and they both of them die. Biggest one's probably the tires popping, windows smashing out, even just the engine blowing up. Just it can't handle how much weight there is. It's probably about four ton worth of uh, that car is carrying. <laughs> um, so you can't say there's a 90% chance they die there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the first man to ever step into an underwater car, Jackson O'Doherty! Ooh, it's a little bit nippy. So who's driving? <laughs> Will the car start? Will it not start? We're gonna find out here tonight. Caleb! Yes? No? Yes! The exhaust pipe. Driving, go. <laughs> go, Michael. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Holy shit. It's working. <laughs> They're gonna yell at us. <laughs> it's the world's first underwater car. <laughs> Perhaps the only ones not phased by the heat with these lads. A trip to the Bottolo went swimmingly, carpooling at its best. today, Jackson? I'm glad you asked, Michael. Today we learned that no dream is too big and anything is possible with hard work and determination. And if you have a little bit of money and a whole team of mechanics and two months of preparation and a whole lot of water, but anyway, that's another story for another day. There's a little glass there. Glass doesn't matter. 